Hello, welcome to this short video in which I'm going to introduce you to Ansible resource modules and in particular the Ansible network resource modules. Uh, my name is Roger Perkin, I'm CCIE 50038 based in the UK and I produce content on Ansible, Python and all things network automation. So if that's your thing then do hit that subscribe button. Uh, let's get right into the video. So. Up until Ansible 2.9, uh, the Ansible resource modules were not a thing, uh, but they are now part of 2.9 and now mainstream 2.10. And in essence, an Ansible resource module is looking at a specific uh, chunk of network configuration. And in this example, uh, we're going to be using the OSPF uh, resource module, and we're gonna gather uh, the current config from a few routers and then we're going to save that uh, configuration into structured data uh, in this case YAML and the benefit of doing that is that you can then push that config back to other devices uh, because you're not then locked down to the specific configuration of a Cisco device. So let's show you uh, the playbook here. So this is the playbook that we've got and it's just going through all the elements from the top. Uh, so the name is obviously uh, convert configured OSPF v2 to structured data. Now the hosts I'm going to target are my CSR routers. Uh, we're going to gather facts false for the moment. I'll go into that in more detail in another video because Ansible 2.9 and now 2.10 does have a lot more features that with uh, enable you to gather the facts um, from network devices. All right, this section here. Um, what's going to happen here is this is going to create a directory um, if it does not exist to put my structured data in. Now where I want to put this is in my host vars and I'm using this Ansible uh, variable here which is the inventory directory so inventory underscore dr and that just automatically puts anything into the same directory as where I'm running the playbook from. So I'm currently in this directory, so this is my Ansible directory, and so the playbook that I'm running is called OSPF resource, that one's down here, and the path that all the details are going to go into are going to be inventory directory, host files, and then inventory underscore hostname. So in my hosts file, so if we go into there, in the hosts here, you can see I've got all these, um, let's clear that. So these are my CSI routers, so these are all the hosts, and these are the host names, so I want R2. So that is what the inventory underscore host name will do. And then we're going to go and use the OSPF v2 resource module. So that is configured here. Now you need to put that in as cisco.ios.ios underscore OSPF v2. Now you might have to install that if you don't have that installed already. And to install that, it's a very simple process. And the easiest thing is to actually show you the documentation for this. So let's just bring that in. So if you just uh, look up cisco.ios.ios OSBF v2 uh, resource module, this will bring you to the Ansible documentation. Um, I will put this link as well in the description for your reference. Uh, but what you need to do is just on your command line do Ansible Galaxy collection install cisco.ios. So that will then put the relevant code in your Ansible installation so you can run this resource module. So that is where that bit comes from. And then uh, config is blank, so we're not going to do anything there. And the state of this is gathered. Now, there are many states to a resource module. Uh, for this video, we're going to focus on gathered. So this is going to just gather the OSPF information. Now, this is very clever uh, because it will go in and it's got knowledge of Cisco's OSPF implementation and it will then use those commands to gather the information that it needs from your devices that are running OSPF. And then the output that it gets from there, we're gonna register as this value here, and we're gonna register it as OSPF v2. 
So now we've got that information, we then need to write the information into a file. So what I'm going to do is this content. So as we've got the variable here, this is where the data lives at this moment in time. It's in OSPF v2. And then we're going to write the file. And the content is going to be OSPF v2. So this is the data that we're writing. And we're going to use this nice uh, Ansible variable here to nice YAML. And the destination, again, this is the same as the folder that we created up here. Now, currently, this folder already exists. So I do already have a host vars folder. It already exists here. Um, so that's, but if you didn't, it would create it. Um, and then where we're going to write this is in the same thing in the inventory directory, host vars, um, the inventory host name, which is the device name. So this will be e.g. router1 and router2. So what we're going to get is a specific folder called router1, router2, router3, etc. And then in each folder, we're going to get a file called ospfv2.yaml. And that will be the YAML structured data of the OSPF process. So let's just go one more, clear that. And I'll bring in this again and I'll show you. So I'm running a topology in Eve. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on here, but the bit that I'm focusing on is uh, this little block down here. So we're going to focus. Uh, mainly on the devices that I've got just running in here. I mean, it's not anything to be concerned about. This is just a load of routers and I've got OSPF configured on all the devices. And then a few of these, uh, this one, this one, and this one, they don't have OSPF at the moment. So we'll see what shows up there. But all of these six here all have OSPF configured on them and they are all peered up. So if we go into one of those devices, um, let's pick router one and in router one I'm going to say oh, let's try another one okay so if I say show run uh, begin router OSPF so this is the current OSPF configuration that I've got configured on this router. So we've got router OSPF 100, router ID 2.2.2.2, uh, log adjacency changes, and then the network statement is here. So these are the OSPF specific configurations that I want to pick up. So now we've seen that, I'll just show you um, also on, say, router 8, for example. This one doesn't have, uh, if I say show run begin router OSPF, this one doesn't have any router OSPF configured, so we'll see the differences there. Okay, so that's that. Let's move that out of the way. So we're going to run this playbook. I move my terminal up, so Ansible playbook, and it's called OSPF resource. YML. Now this will step through. Now that says create the inventory directory if not exists. Now it does exist, so it's green, it's fine. And we're going to go out and gather all the information and everything comes back. Now these are all green at the moment. I have run this a few times and we can see now we've got these folders already created. So let's just go through that again. I'll delete these just for now so you can actually see what it does. So these are all the folders that were created. So if I delete them. So under host files now we're we are completely empty. And you can fully see how Ansible operates. So now we see that's yellow, so it's changed. It's actually created those folders, which we can see here. The folders are created. It's now gone and gathered the OSPF configuration and then the the task write the OSP configuration to a file that's yellow as well that's changed so that's done it all and now in router one for example we've got this file so if we click on that and here we can see that I've now got OSPF v2 
and you can see this is exactly the configuration that we have on the router. So we've got OSPF v2, the process, log adjacency changes, set, and uh, that's true, that was set. And the network address is 000, the area is 0, uh, the wildcard bits are there, process ID 100, and the router ID is there. So if we now go on to router 2, you can see the differences. So the majority of the config will be the same. And the only difference there is the router ID. So it's picked out all of that and put it into a nice structured data format. Now I went on to router 8 before. It creates the file, but as there was no OSPF information, we've got a blank file here. So what can you do with this? Well, now you've got the OSPF information in structured data. If we wanted to configure OSPF on, say, a Junos device or a different vendor, we wouldn't be concerned with the actual commands, i.e. root OSPF 100, network address, and how you put them in. You would have that understood already by your automation platform, and then this is the structured data that will relate to that, and you feed that in, and then you can configure these commands onto different vendors' devices. Now, before I wrap up this video, I'm just going to run this once more because you can see all this was changed in the first run. And then as Ansible is idempotent, uh, you have to say the word idempotent in any Ansible video, that's the law. Um, you see these now all go green because the folders already exist. And the writing of the OSPF v2 configuration task, that's also green. So that goes in. Everything, nothing has changed. And this is all the same. So you can see here, OSPF v2. So let's say then I go into uh, router 8, which didn't have any OSPF configuration on. And if I just configure OSPF 100, router ID 8.8.8.8. So we're just going to do a subset of that. And we'll go back and run this playbook again. We should now just see that router 8 changes. The directory is already being created because that's the every single device in the host file. Gathers the config and there we can see that the only one that's changed was router 8 because that's different from before. And now in router 8 we've got a new file and this one's a bit smaller because it's just got OSPF, uh, process 100 and the router ID. So hopefully that's been helpful. It's an introduction into Ansible uh, network resource modules. I'll be doing a few more on these because it's very powerful and we'll get into some layer three interfaces. And the idea is that you build up a resource module for each section of network configuration that you have. So you use a resource module for OSPF and then one for layer three interfaces. And you structure this to build it up into layers to add all the pieces into your full network configuration. Uh, my name is Roger Perkin, as I've said, and I also um, have got an Ansible course. Um, if you look in the description for the video, the details are there. Um, and you can check out my details on my website. Uh, and I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.